Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Today we're going over how to install our new Mondulin filter. This is one of the most innovative products I've seen in a long time in rainwater harvesting product lines. It's, it's actually manufactured in Brazil, made of fiberglass, so it is completely paintable, and it's a really great pre-filter. And the way it works is this, this front cover comes off. There is a string and a pulley in the upper left-hand corner here. You want to make sure when you take the cover off and you're installing it for the first time that that string is over the pulley. But the way it works is water comes into the filter here. The weight of the water will push down on this, this, this filter sock and the filter fabric will actually expand letting water pass through, clean water pass through. Any debris will recoil the, the pulley and pass straight through. So large debris passes through while water is collected. And it is incredibly efficient, really working at 98% efficiency in, in yeah. uh, very little water goes through the overflow there, the debris outlet. It, most of it is collected. It has two ports in case you have two different tanks that you want to feed with the water. Uh, we're working on a, a design right now that, that will be a more compact version of this with only one port. But today we're going we're gonna to put in this two-port system and some tools that we need for this. We need a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver to take off the front panel. There's a mounting screw there. We'll need the instruction booklet, which has a template for mounting the filter to your wall. We'll need PVC cement and primer to glue on some adapters, uh, specifically a downspout adapter. And we'll need some mounting screws. In this case, since we're mounting to sheet metal, we're going to use sheet metal screws, sheet metal fasteners. And it doesn't hurt to have a tape measure on hand, as well as, of course, a drill and a level. First thing we did was we measured where we wanted to mount this filter in relation to the downspout. And then we cut out the section of the downspout that we needed to remove in order to insert this filter. Now there is a mounting guide that comes with the filter that shows the position of this outlet on the filter. Right here. And the two mounting holes on the back side of this filter. However, before you use this template, you want to make sure that you have an appropriate adapter because this rectangular three by four downspout is not going to fit inside this four inch inlet. So in order to make this work, we're going to use a three by four by four downspout adapter, three by four by four inch round downspout adapter. Now you may have two by three downspouts, in which case you'll want to use a two by three by four downspout adapter. And we're simply going to glue this on to the filter like that using PVC primer and cement. Okay, so we're ready to mount the modular into the wall here. Now there's a couple unique things about this particular scenario that I'll go over. Uh, number one, this is an existing drainage system. So that downspout was already running into a drain tile uh, or a, a downspout drain. We're going to tie into that downspout drain to route the drainage now to a new cistern. So we had to do some manipulation because this, this inlet here doesn't, it's not in line with this, this outlet. And that's an intentional design. So we had to uh, dig this drain pipe out and push it over a little bit so that it will line up. But before we do that, we're gonna mount this module into the wall. Now you'll notice that the here itself, it extends out past the building. So instead of using both the mounting screw, mounting positions here on the back side of this filter, instead of using both of these, we're only going to use the one on the right, right here. And to find that spot, we're going to use the included templates. 
So this is the position of the pipe. That's the position of the mounting hole on the back side of this filter. Now, we wanted to remeasure this because we put in this downspout adapter. So I took a measurement from where the downspout is going to rest inside this adapter to the top of this mounting hole, and that happens to be three inches. So we'll want to make a mark three inches above this, this uh, pilot guide and line that up with the bottom of our downspout. which is right, right there. That's going to be the position of our uh, mounting screw. So I'm going to go ahead and drill that screw in and get this, get this module in mounted to the wall. So I got my three inch gap marked out here. I just poked a little hole in it in the, in the template. I'm going to line that up with the bottom of the downspout, line the downspout in between these lines here. And that's the position for our mounting screw right there. Now because this modulin is sticking out past the building, we're not going to just rely on this one mounting position to secure the modulin. So I'm going to pre-drill two more holes below this mounting, mounting position in line with it, and we're going to use those holes to mount two more screws into the into this the metal siding here so that we can get that modulin nice and secure okay so we got the modulin securely mounted we used two more mounting screws in addition to our original mounting screw um, it's nice and secure now we've leveled it plumbed it um, before we put the lid back on we're going to again want to make sure that the string is in that pulley so that it can flex freely. We can go ahead and put this, this uh, plate back on, use the screw to secure it. And then the final step is going to be connecting this to our drainage pipe. We, as I mentioned before, we loosen this drainage pipe up so now we can move it. We're going to line it up with this, this uh, right hand outlet. So we're going to use a coupling here and then run a piece of Schedule 40 PVC. We use Schedule 40 this is actually 4-inch SDR35, so in order to adapt to it, the, the um, best thing to do is to use a rubber, well, it's actually flexible PVC, but PVC no-hub coupling. So we'll, we'll connect a piece of pipe there. And then on this side, since we're not using this left-hand outlet, we're just going to simply cap it with a 4-inch no-hub cap, or also called a Fernco cap. Um, and that's just going to block off that channel there. Okay, so we hooked up the 4-inch Schedule 40, adapted it to the existing 4-inch SDR35 using a 4-inch rubber no-hub coupling, capped off the uh, port that we're not using with a 4-inch uh, no-hub cap, end cap. We're going to leave this open. Again, this barely has any water coming out of it. It's only for debris, so we want to keep that clear. Replace the lid on it and we got it securely mounted so it's it's good to go now maintenance on this requires taking out that that flexible sock and it's very easy to remove there's a that that sock can actually be put in a in a washing machine to clean it and usually it's every six months sometimes you can get a full year before you need to clean that filter it's a really great system very easy to install. This is perfect for systems where either you have an above ground tank, um, you can mount it high on your downspout before it goes into the tank, um, or for underground cisterns, there's no finer pre-filtration that exists uh, besides this modulin. This is the finest pre-filtration you can have without getting too restrictive on your, on your input uh, from the downspouts. It's great for applications where you have four or fewer downspouts feeding the system and that at that rate it's very affordable to put in very easy to install much easier than some of the in-ground pre-filters pre-filtering roof washers that we have so again this is the modulin pre-filter roof washer uh, and it's available at our website rainbrothers.com thanks so much for watching